Computer technology opens up doors to a lot of us, letting us connect with friends and family who are a long way away, but it can also connect you with crooks. It is a lesson one Connecticut woman learned the hard way. News 8's Bob Wilson spoke with her. He's live for us tonight in Hartford. Bob. Yeah, you know, we're focusing on one Connecticut woman's story. She's out of Hamden. However, we've been talking to just one computer store, and they say two to three times a day they see computers infected with malware, or people just let it right in through an email, or in this case, a phone call from what seemed to be a concerned man saying, hey, your computer has a problem. We're calling from Microsoft. There's a problem with your computer. It started out with what seemed like an innocent phone call to Vivian Cameron in Hamden. She thought the man wanted to help her with her computer, so she went to the website that allowed the caller to remotely access her hard drive. When you opened up your computer, how long were they in your computer for? It was open for maybe an hour and a half. It was a scam. The man started asking for money and eventually Vivian turned off the computer, but the damage had been done. They had to spend a whole hour cleaning up my computer. There was all sorts of malware on there, things which were attached to innocent things. So you might think Vivian is one in a million or it doesn't happen that often, but here at Kaplan Computers, they say they see two to three machines a day that have been remotely accessed. And once you let them into the machine, they can plant malware that lets them back in when you don't know they're going in, and that way they can have access to the computer whenever it's on. The chances are for them to gain access to it again without you knowing is very high. As soon as you turn that machine back on, you're automatically connected to the Internet. That portal is open and will always stay open. Mike McLean says malware can be attached to an innocent-looking email that once opened creates a backdoor into your computer. Bottom line, an unsolicited phone call or email from an unknown person should not be allowed access. Is it okay to let people into your computer? Absolutely not. Um, think about it like you giving somebody keys to the door of your house. Um, you wouldn't let anybody just in there. And a couple of things, if somebody does get in there and all of a sudden they're going through your computer, you realize you made a mistake, turn it off. That's the easiest way to stop it, then take it to a computer store to make sure it's okay and they didn't install that malware. Second, Microsoft or a legitimate tech company will not be calling you to say something's wrong with your computer. They don't solicit. They say that's the first tip, that there's a scam. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.